Hi, everybody. My name is Matt Haynes. I'm an audiobook narrator, and I study ongoing different accents. Uh, the accent for this month is the transatlantic, or sometimes called mid-Atlantic accent. Now, what makes this accent unique is that it does not come organically. It was designed to, uh, to, to, to make people sound cleaner and better in the United States. Um, popular in movies and popular in radio and popular in Ivy League and all that sort of thing. It went out of popularity after World War II. And um, what we're going to do today is break down some of the principles of the accent, because it's still useful uh, for characters that are uh, back in that time, and then apply those principles to song lyrics, which is a technique I highly recommend. Ta-da! Let's give a warm welcome to the Mattoon. Matt Matt Toon. It's a picture of me with my glasses on, and it's to illustrate how when I try this accent on, uh, where it seems to be fitting in my mouth um, and my face. So uh, the key things for the transatlantic accent are a heavy emphasis in the nasal cavity and uh, things clicking and ticking and clucking off the top front teeth in terms of the uh, heavy articulation that's in the transatlantic accent. So um, if we take uh, lyrics, I'm going to set it straight, this Watergate, it becomes, I'm going to set it straight, this Watergate. Next principle. Uh, a lot of these principles you'll find also in Regal Southern, uh, RP British, and also uh, upper class Massachusetts or Kennedy-esque Massachusetts. So we'll go to another one, which is uh, the dropping of the R's uh, preceding a vowel. So uh, Watergate becomes Watergate. Next, the A ah sound is broadened into an AW. Ah. So uh, let's see, for example, uh, if we have can't stand it from the song lyrics, it becomes can't stand it. We have very high articulation of the T's, which I cannot argue with as a theater guy. Um, so typically in a general American contemporary accent, we would almost uh, turn the T into a D with the word water, it become water. Uh, in this case, it is water. The E sound at the end of a word that ends in a Y um, becomes an I. So clearly becomes clearly. Now, as far as I can tell, this next one isn't mandatory, but it still helps, uh, which is heavily articulated L's a la Bobby Kennedy. So uh, again, let's take the word clearly. It become clearly. All right, it is song time. We're going to take these uh, uh, principles, we're going to apply them to the lyrics of Sabotage by the Beastie Boys. I can't stand it. I know you planned it. We're going to set it straight to this water gate. I can't stand rocking when I'm in here, because your crystal ball ain't so crystal clear. So while you sit back and wonder why I've got this gosh darn thorn in my side, oh my god, it's a mirage. I'm telling you now, it's Sabotage. So, listen up, because you can't say nothing. You shut me down with the push of your button. Well, yo, I'm out, and I'm gone. You know, I just keep it going on and on. And what you see, you might not get. And we can bet, so don't you get souped up yet. Scheming on a thing that's a mirage, I'm telling you now, it's sabotage. Why? Now our backs are against the wall. And that was Sabotage from the Beastie Boys. Uh, music provided by Kevin McLeod, who gives this stuff out uh, royalty-free. And uh, thank you, Kevin. Uh, now, special challenge for all of you. Uh, a lot of people got some amusement from uh, the delivery of this accent to these lyrics. So I thought, hey, what if uh, people made their videos in sort of a, a chain or a tag or what have you, where you apply... Uh, the accent to lyrics of songs that would be unthinkable uh, in that era or that context of the era. Um, so, uh, hey, Master of Puppets, American Idiot, Gangsta's Paradise, have at it. Post a video. And uh, uh, also, let me know if uh, there are any other things that you've observed about the transatlantic accent. And I'll see you next month.